Double up, three or four times. I ain't telling no lies. I just run it up. Never let a hard time. What is up, you guys? Watch my YouTube back again when you got another million dollar video. Today, we're going to be checking out some inside uh, stuff of pretty much what happened at the Travis Scott concert, the tragedy. I, I just want to start off with a video saying rest in peace to everyone that lives were lost. Prayers to the family that has that has had, um, you know, senseless life or just, just life taken away from them, their family, and all, all of the stress and, and the pain that they're going through right now. Like, I'm really, like... I'm honestly gonna do a sincere prayer I want some of these videos off because you know that that no, no one deserves to, to <clears throat> Really experience something like that at all especially you know Like you send your kid off to a concert and then you get a phone call saying that hey like such and such happened Your kids not with us anymore like you know who is prepared for that and on top of that as well is like what kind of um uh, uh, What kind of parent wants to bury their kid, you know, like it should be the other way around but you know, I'm just gonna get into more afterwards. I'm not gonna react to like two minutes of this video because I don't wanna be hit with copyright and for the video to be taken down. So obviously the video is being put up to get my perspective and if I, I think if I play the whole thing I get copyrighted then obviously what's the point of putting it up all the way if, I'm, if it's gonna be get taken down anyway. So let me just shut up and get to the video in three, two, one, start. I was literally praying and I was like, please get me out of here. Like this is not how I wanna go, please. <laughs> Amid terrifying accounts from those who were Damn, there, dude, now Travis Scott and Drake, the two most prominent headliners from the Astro World Festival, are being sued. With Scott, the founder of the festival, separately facing several suits, both from fans who attended and the family of a victim who died. In all, eight people were killed and countless others were injured terrible, after man. a crowd surge ended in chaos. Today is me. I lost my son. It could be you. It could be you. This is Axel Acosta's father. The 21-year-old was the last victim to be identified. The family's lawyer says Acosta struggled to breathe in the crowd rush, eventually collapsing. The air was literally slowly squeezed out of him, sending his heart into cardiac arrest. The lawyer said Scott and others were negligent that there was poor planning and not enough emergency and security personnel. This was needless, it was unnecessary and could have easily been prevented. He also points to Scott's past, saying he encouraged fans to create chaos and mm. bypass security barricades at previous performances, something that has gotten him into legal trouble before. Scott said he was devastated by what happened and today he committed to paying for the victim's funerals. But he remains silent on the legal challenges that are now mounting against him. Bro, that's sad, bro. So I'm just going to leave it as that. Pretty much let them give their commentary. Honestly, before I really got into it as much as I just did right now and just hearing the stuff online, seeing people just give accounts and stuff like, oh, Travis should have known. Travis, you saw the ambulance. Travis is Travis that. Now, when Travis does his shows and also usually when when artists are doing their shows, people are paying for the concert, right? So people are paying for these shows, so they have they have to perform. So if they see one like one ambulance and they're taking away someone, like that person can either be um, parched or they're they're or they're dehydrated or they need to step out to get air because they're having trouble breathing, whatever the case may be, right? It's never a thought in artists' heads, and I'm I'm not making this an excuse. I'm just saying this, I can imagine this will this is what goes on in like an artist's head. They're not thinking to themselves like, damn someone people are dying they're thinking to themselves like dang like this man's turning up too hard like they had to take him out it's kind of like the same it's the same it's a similar ideology if if like you go to the club right and you see someone getting carried out the club because they're like slumping over and shit and in, in like a fucking security or, or and cops and 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 ambulance are, are taking them out you know of the club because they're falling over and they're too fucking turned you know it's it's similar you're not expecting if you're if you're hosting a party at that club or an event at that club you're not expecting for people to die you know that's not really in your head so i can imagine in travis's head he wasn't like when people were saying bro you saw people you saw the ambulance take people take, take people away like he's not expecting that people are dying he's just thinking to himself like oh this is normal my conscience normal which is not good but I'm just saying this is normal on my concerts, this is normal on my show, people are turning up like usual. He's not expecting people to actually die. Where I, That's where I can kind of, I can kind of side with Travis a little bit. But where I cannot side with Travis at all is that at the same point, bro, like you kind of had, there's, there's a cap. Like when you say we want people to turn up for you in your concerts, I get it. 
that's fine. You're getting, you're getting the energy up. But where you go wrong is that you tell you tell your fans to bypass security. You tell your fans to, to fuck the security guards, do what you want to do, rage, rage, turn up. Any kind of authority figure, you tell them not to listen to them. And, and because you are an artist, because you have this influence, your fans love you. So they're going to listen to everything you say. A lot of these niggas look at you as like a god. So they're going to they're gonna do everything and anything you say. So that's why that becomes a problem because you have all this influence, right? Telling your fans to turn up, to rage, fuck the security guards, fuck the cops, we do what we want, whatever the case may be. And fortunately, that can cause people's lives. So I'm not sure exactly if that's the case with this, because I wasn't there, and I, ha and I don't want to be ignorant. So I want to, I want to see, I want to see more videos and hear more accounts of other people before I really give that opinion. But off of a face value, looking in from the outside, looking in from bird's eye view, like I can see why Travis probably feels that people could be like, bro, why does he have to pay? He's not responsible for that. If anything, it's the venue. It's the venue. It's the venue. They're the ones that that orchestrated how many security guards are there and all that shit. If that's the case, then yeah, he's just a performer. It's the venue. But knowing how Travis is, if he's telling people to fuck the security guard, bypass all that shit, we're going to rage, turn up, all sort of bullshit, as he usually does in his shows, then bro, like you incited a riot and that caused people to die. Like that's not, <laughs> that's your fault, my nigga. Like that's not really so much much like the venue you no know, that being said i'm not gonna give too much commentary on this guy i feel like i want to i want to invest more into this matter before i do because i don't want to be ignorant but what i will say is that you know this has to change i saw like stefan don kind of called them out on twitter and then took off the tweet it wasn't about you know canceling him because people like that's 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 just crazy bro like you make one little mistake and that, that's a big ass mistake but you do one thing and it's like it couldn't let's not act like travis purposely killed these people bro like so canceling him is like come on bro like he 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 he, we, he didn't purposely kill these niggas or these people i don't want to say niggas but people so we, we can't do that if he did then yes we canceling this nigga but he didn't do that so that's that's not you see people in tiktok and comments trying to come up with ways to stop him from getting paid like bro Come on, bro. Like, yes, he should pay for the funerals. Yes, he should come out of pocket. Yes. But to tarnish his career, like, forever, as if he, like, purposely killed them, like, that's a little too much. That's a little, like, come on. We shouldn't do all that. Should he come out of pocket? Yes. Should he Should he pay for all the expenses and all the, and all the, any kind of therapy anyone needs? Yes. He definitely should. Is he somewhat held liable? Yes. But should we destroy his whole career off of something that he didn't do purposely? No. That being said, guys, I'm out. That being said, guys, please love and positive like always. All my social media down in the description box below with my other channels too as well. Um, be safe, guys. Prayers. I'm out. Peace.